Ew, what is good? My anniversary for what is good, you know. <sighs> I apologize for night's raid coming out so late. And I'll try my best to get it out on a Friday. Uh, it just feels like I overload so with so many videos on certain days that it kind of doesn't even matter anymore, right? Like, it's just gonna, sooner or later, I'm gonna have way too many episodes on certain days. And sooner or later, some of these shows are gonna fall off. But the thing about being man, the way I do my channel is. I'll always have something to talk about, as long as anime in general exists, your boy will have something to talk about, regardless if it's the hottest thing or not. But this week's episode of The King's Raid, um, I don't really care for the little bit of storytelling we're getting with the Dark Elves, like, it, it is cool, uh, to some degree. To have a way to pretty much see what the kingdom is going through at the same time as our heroes. Which more or less is what it feels like. It's like, yeah, there's there's this whole entire quest going on outside. But by the time he probably conquers uh, what he needs to take, it would seem that the, um, that the people would already have, uh, the Dark Elves would already have taken over or... You know, push forward the narrative of having whatever they want uh, as leaders of the place. It seems like they'll be closer and closer to finishing that aspect of where they're going with this. So that's kind of the interesting part for me is that not only are we seeing, uh, you know, the plans of the people trying to push forward and win in the grand scheme of taking over. But as of right now, the person who is a huge threat to their success hasn't even really been there uh, since he's been powered up, since he's been saved by the Black uh, Edge. Funny enough, the same person that they saved, they probably would have been a lot better off killing at the end of the day, seeing how he's out there now getting even more and more incredibly strong, which I feel like is also in itself part of the plot for him to either uh, fight the dark, uh, the dark elves, or it's going to be a plan for him to be able to pretty much get the dark elves out of the situation that they're putting themselves in by uh, working with this guy that I honestly, uh, excuse me, I'm honestly already called out to be looking like a villain, so it would not surprise me in the least if he's just like oh by the way dark elves i was never going to give you anything you know classic classic bad guy but that being said it's not all bad in the grand scheme of where this story kind of felt uh dull to me in the case of just being pretty straightforward like i can call out what's going to happen but i think the introduction of undead and seeing like their reactions and how they're going to figure out how to attack human like humanoid looking people and stuff like that was a lot better of a character experience for me with them because it really does show their hum humane side you know it shows just like what they what their core values are right and one of the core values were to protect the human race and take care of them so to then now see someone who is completely looking like a human, but you have to kill because it's either life or death, it definitely sucks, right? So I do like what they're giving us as a whole. I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys are thinking of this overall, because right now I honestly don't know uh, what the Dark Elves think they're going to get from this guy, but... Hopefully it's not the worst thing, right? Because we all know for a fact. Anime has a way of destroying some nice people. And it has some ways of just setting up the worst case scenarios for people. So if that is the case, I would not be surprised in the slightest at the end of the day. So just be prepared for whatever comes. If the worst comes, we got to be ready for that. If 
they end up, you know, working together with Dark Elves, that's cool and all, but to be fair, the Dark Elves don't really want to work with them, <laughs> you know, like, they, they want to get what they deserve, but I don't think at what cost uh, their understanding it's going to come with, right, like, they don't, they're not thinking about the long term of how many people are going to die and how many people that aren't absolutely pieces of crap are the ones that are going to suffer more than the ones that may have already passed away since the time they've done you dirty um you know maybe they're so old they can't even fight back and stuff like that so you're really probably more or less killing the people off that just follow the lead of these killers and whatnot so i think that's another pretty big point for me in the case of how things are turning out and how things can play out in the future if they honestly do have someone in their mix that is uh, trusting the humans and even you know telling his part of the his story he didn't say like we're gonna kill everybody in this place and take over so to speak but he did say you know how his family died and the people who killed them was these people in this you know this area so it does counter or like contradict him on like why are you doing it what are you here for what do you get out of helping these people that have you know kill, took your family away from you and i think that is a really good talking point as to why you don't fraternize with the enemy and it's a huge reason as to um why he's being sh like shunned right like why he's having these people straight up come for his neck because he's not he's doing the worst thing possible you know almost like dying in this video game like me right now i'm scared for my life but we'll definitely see how this all plays out for him i am very interested in how this story has been developing over time now and sure it's been kind of straightforward for me like i can predict most of the stuff that's gonna happen um but it doesn't necessarily mean it's bad it just means it's predictable and hopefully that predictableness of it still leads to an amazing story at the end of the day so with all that being said everybody i hope you have an amazing day night evening whatever the case may be when you watch this i am your boy the anime g and i will definitely talk to you sooner than later peace